The new raid in Destiny 2 has been conquered, and with it comes a brand new endgame activity that takes a little grunt work to unlock. It's called the Vex Offensive, and it's pretty awesome. It's a six player co-op match made activity that has its own weekly powerful rewards, endless quests, and three chests of loot per run. The only issue is it's not the easiest thing to unlock. So that's why in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can do it by yourself if you have to. Eris Morn starts things off by giving you a quest to kill 100 Vex and three Gate Lords whenever they invade. But the trick is knowing when and where the Vex are going to invade on the moon. And assuming you're 900 light or above, this is a fairly easy thing to accomplish once you know when and where. So where I started was the Anchor of Light on the moon in Destiny 2. Once there, you're going to want to wait for a public event to start. You go through the event like normal, try to get the heroic version, and uh, pray you get more than a blue out of it. And then the magic starts happening. You know the Vex invasion zones, how there's one per zone on the map. Every time a public event is completed, Vex will start pouring into the zone that you did the public event for. When it happens, you can't miss it. It's this sound with a little bit of a text update in the bottom left, and you have this huge cloud in the sky, like a Vex cloud. It's really cool. Every time a Vex invasion happens, happens, you're going to be fighting a Vex Gatelord on top of a absolute bunch of low-level mobs and hydras. Your goal is to kill the Gatelord before the time runs out, and this can be a little tricky, but if you're above 900 light and you have one weapon that does a lot of AoE clearing and then another weapon that does a ton of single target damage on top of anything else in your build that would help super and grenade regeneration, then you should have no problems. You can play aggressive because even if you do die, you respawn in about 10 seconds and can just run back to the fight before too much time is lost. Bringing some friends along with you makes this a lot easier, but I was able to solo it, so you should be able to as well. Now, if you do kill the first Gate Lord, the Vex will leave momentarily and then invade in another spot not too far away. Just make sure you're on your Sparrow and you're looking for it so that you can minimize downtime. The second invasion will be the same as the first. Just try to burst down the Gate Lord as fast as you can, and then you'll get the third and final invasion in another spot nearby. Race over to the final Gate Lord, try to ignore the ads if you can, burst him down with your super, most powerful weapons, whatever you get. Once you do, you should be given an item that is 5 light above your level, amongst a good deal of other loot, and you should have the Eyes on the Moon quest step. Go back and talk to Eris Morn, and you should have the Vex Offensive unlocked. If you don't for some reason, then restart your game and it should take care of itself. And then Vex Offensive is all yours to grind. The only thing that sucks though is that you have to do this for all of your characters each time. It's not a count bound, and that kind of stinks a little bit. Granted, it's something you can accomplish in an hour or two, but eh, still, it just kind of seems needless at that point. Well, anyway, that's the guide to getting past that particular quest step and getting to the Vex Offensive. I hope it helped you out. If it did, drop me a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.